Hey guys, so today is an update video. I've been gone forever, forever, forever. I know that's not good. But, um, I've been really busy looking for a job. I just did not have time to make videos when I was unemployed. I had to have a job. So, I looked all summer, forever, forever, for four months, five months, no calls, nothing. I was getting really depressed. And I think you guys could tell in one of my last videos that I actually deleted it because I went back and I watched it. I was like, wow, this is really negative and really, really depressing. And, like, I wanted to cry after I watched it. So I deleted it because I don't want things like that on my channel. I was just having a whew, hell of a time looking for work. And I finally, it was really, really weird. I guess it was just, like, the time where people start hiring, I guess. I guess no one was hiring until, you know, October. But I work at Target now. I work in the cafe. I've been there like a week now, and I really, really like it. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. I don't know why that's so bad right now. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I also cashier. I am, they're training me to cashier just in case I need to pick up a couple hours here and there. And it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. But, yeah. It was weird, though, because uh, what was weird is Target called me. Actually, Wendy's called me first. Fast food. What? But whatever. It's a job. And I was like, all right, I'll come in for an interview. But the interview wasn't until, like, two or three weeks from the phone call. I was like, that's kind of weird. And then Target called me. Like, do you want to come in tomorrow for an interview? I was like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And so I went in, and they hired me. The interview was like two hours long. I was like, they definitely are going to hire me if I'm here this long. And they hired me. And then a week later was orientation. And during my break, during my orientation, we had break. And Wendy's called me again. They're like, oh, are you coming to the interview today? And I actually had totally, like, I put that interview on my calendar on my phone. I don't know why I forgot about that interview. But, um, yeah. I was like, I'm actually at orientation for Target. Like, oh, congratulations. Call us if you want to work two jobs. But I, I won't need to work two jobs. Target, Target's giving me really good hours. But then, who else called me? I did have an American Eagle interview. But... At the end, at the very end of the interview, after, like, I interviewed pretty well, even though they didn't, they never called me back, but I think I interviewed really well. But at the very end of the interview, the lady was like, yeah, it's retail, so you only get, like, a shift every two weeks or something like that. I was like, um, yeah, I kind of need to eat. I can't really work only that, so that wasn't very promising. Um, but yeah. And then, oh, Dollar Tree called me after I'd already been working a few days at Target and had kind of excuse me, realized that I was going to be getting good hours. So I declined an interview for Dollar Tree. But it was so weird. I went months and months with nothing, losing hope, getting really depressed. And then all of a sudden, like, five people call me. But I'm really glad that Target was the one because I really like it. It's amazing. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm not gone. I still really want to make videos, but it was really hard. I just didn't have the time or the energy and or the happiness. Like, I don't want to get on here and be, you know, a poop and not happy. Because then no one wants to watch my videos, so what's the point? But yeah, I just was not happy enough to make videos. And it just would have been kind of like, oh, that girl does not like her life. Because I was essentially depressed. Not funny word. I had absolutely no money. Like, I don't know if this is, like, too personal. I don't care. I'm an open book. But, um, I had no money after I quit my Safeway job for dropping my hours to nine a week and decided to move back to my hometown. Um, I applied for unemployment just because, but they said that quitting your job for dropping your hours that much and having to move back in with your mommy was not a good enough reason to get unemployment. I think I mentioned that in that other depressing video. But yeah, so I got no unemployment. I got no benefits of any kind. I did have food stamps for a while, but then after moving back in with my mom, um, I can't have them if I live with my mom. So I don't, I didn't even get food stamps after that.
so. I essentially had literally nothing. My mom was paying my bills for me, um, which I don't have a lot of bills. She was paying my credit card payment, $30 a month, and my phone bill, which isn't a lot because I don't drive. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I maxed out my credit card on living expenses after I moved here, so it, that, that was not good. But now everything is better, and I'm really happy. So I just wanted to up, update you guys on that and let you know I'm not gone. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing glasses, yes, I've always worn glasses. Uh, since I was, like, in fifth grade, ten years old, um, I was on my last pair of contacts. And they pooped out on me. I started, they started getting just really scummy. And one day I put them in my eyes and they're just, I was, I was like blinking a lot. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Um, but yeah, they were like, I felt like something was poking my eye. So I threw them away and until I get a few paychecks and can afford an appointment at the optometrist. The amazing Walmart optometrist. <laughs> I will be wearing glasses. So. Doesn't bother me. I really like my glasses. I like the tight of them. It looks cool. I'm due for new glasses. These are really old. I kind of want wire rims instead of plastic next time. But these aren't too bad. Um, uh, what else? Oh, I wanted you guys to. I wanted an opinion from you guys. So. My hair is growing out. It's probably grown out a lot since my last video. Um, I can actually wear it down before. It just looked too weird to wear it down. It would flip out at awkward angles and look weird. But it's actually like when I straighten it, it actually curls under right now. It's because I was growing out a pixie cut in case some of you guys don't know that. So that's why the front is shorter than the back. And for a while it did look like a horrible, horrible like mullet thing. I just kind of did cute pigtails and cute little ponytails until I got past that stage, but now I can wear it down. So, my question for you guys is, should I cut the back? I don't know which side looks better. I think this side. Ah, opposite. Um, you can see it's kind of like a bob right here. Should I cut, just take this back part and cut it? as short, like it'd be kind of like this, so that's like a bob, so it's just so it's all the same length while growing, or should I just deal with it and get past this, you know, long here, short here, just deal with it, get past it, what do you guys think, I'm thinking I want to cut it, but not too terribly short, because I am hoping soon to invest in some clip-in extensions, and I do want it long enough to be able to clip those in and blend. So yeah, that's my question. And I am dyeing my hair soon. I'm going to surprise you guys. I will tell you that today I am heading to Rite Aid. Because I have, I have this box of hair dye that I don't want to use. Like I just decided that I really don't like the color. It's boring. And just one second, my brother's calling my name. What, Kyle? Um, I'm making a video and I don't know how to pause it. You're interrupting it. Bye. Sorry. They don't need me. They don't need me. They don't need to talk to me until I sit down to make a video. If I'm not making a video, they don't need to talk to me. Then I sit down and start recording. They need me. <sighs> Frustrating. But anyway, box of hair dye. Decided I didn't like it. It was kind of like a mousy, dirty blonde. I was like, why would I go, like, boring? Mouthy blonde. I'm not special at all. Oh, now I want to tell you the color that I'm going to get. Um, so I'm taking that back and I decided that I'm getting a brass banisher. I did not know they existed because I was like, okay, so I do have to tell you the color. I can't, oh, I can't even keep secrets. People never should tell me secrets because I can't keep them. I can't keep secrets of my own from people. <laughs> so I'm going like platinum blonde. Like, Platinum, platinum, white, whitish, silvery blonde, no gold in it, no yellow in it, just white, pure baby blonde. Pretty, pretty, pretty color. That was my hair color when I was like six. 
Um, because the extensions are like all from Foxy Lock, and they're like really pretty, really pure white one, really, really pretty. So yeah, that's the color I'm going for, which is why I need to get rid of this brassy old red color, because I'm afraid if I put a white blonde over it, my hair will be orange. So I found a brass banisher, and I'm going to go see if they have that at Rite Aid. So I just take back that ugly hair dye that I don't want to use, and just be like, oh, I want this instead. Trade. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do after I get off here. But I am going to do a tag video after this. So watch out for that. It's going to be a fun tag. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to go, you guys. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not gone. I have a job, and I am like 10 billion times happier right now. And me and my boyfriend are doing good. He's living with me in my mom's house for about a month so that he can save some money because he kind of got behind. Not, I don't know how to explain it. Like, he kept getting paychecks, but his bank account was, like, always negative even after he got paychecks because he kept having to pay rent and bills and rent and bills. So my mom let him, is letting him stay here for about a month so that he doesn't have to pay any kind of a rent and he can just not have his bank account in the negative because that's not a good thing. But anyway, yeah, me and Corey are, or Corey and I are doing the Fantabula. See you guys later. Watch out for my tag video next. Love you guys. Bye.